Hey guys, CB Super. Um, so today I got a comment from Spartacus Spielt Solo, but it was actually in relation to when I made a, uh, a video showing how to make a template, um, a title template where you have a, an animated title, you just create a template, and I'll show you a little bit about that in this video. He'd suggested that uh, he puts the individual title setting into a power bin, and then he can share that across all of his projects. And he asked me, what, what do I think about that? Let's go ahead and jump into DaVinci Resolve. Okay, so power bins. Uh, what is a power bin? Well, a power bin is a bin. You'll notice by default, we don't actually see bins. We see a master bin and I can create a new bin. Say I call this bin power bin, right? But it's not actually a power bin. In fact, I'm gonna get rid of that because that was dumb. Why did I even do that? Remove bin. Um, so a power bin is actually by default hidden and why I don't know why it just is um, So in order to actually access your power bin you come up to view If you're on a MacBook or a small monitored system, you're actually going to have to scroll down here to show power bins uh, and then just click on that and Now you have this power bin and then you can see there's a line and you can move the line if you want uh, but You can see there's a line differentiate it from your master bin now, if you click on your power bins and you can create several folders so you can have subfolders, say if I want to call this one effects, I can also have maybe another one that I would call titles. So some great things to put in there would be like shared title generators, graphic movies and stills, sound effects, library files, music files, pretty much anything you can imagine, any kind of file you can basically put into that power bin. If you have pieces of media or some type of effect or some type of fusion comp that you want to use over and over again, if you're doing any kind of episodic production, power bins are going to come in really useful, especially for having uh, lower thirds or any other kind of uh, graphic or something that you're going to be using just over and over again. In order to pull up a template, uh, we need to do a couple things. One, we need to come over here to the effects library need to go to our title section and then scroll, which we may have a lot of Fusion titles in here, or we may have a lot of templates. Uh, we gotta scroll to wherever our specific title is that we're looking for. And then we take that title and then we can drag that and put it on top of our footage. So that works pretty well and you know, I can play through that and it's going to track and do whatever I want it to do, right? Um, the nice thing about doing it this way is that inside of this template, I can come over here and I can change this. I can change the text or anything else that I wanted to create inside of that template. I can actually change it right here in the edit tab. And that's, that's kind of the power of making those into a template. We can use the power bin. Well, if I use the power bin, let's say I bring a fusion title down here. Let's take a look at this. I can take a fusion title. I could jump into this fusion title and I can really quick set this up pretty much the same way. Come in here, we'll call this tracking title. Let's go ahead and see what it looks like. Maybe size it up, start in the beginning. Track it out some. All right. Now we have tracking title set up. Um, now I can jump back in over here and I can take this fusion comp. I can click on my master bin and I can just drop it into my master bin. Uh, I can even come over here and I can rename it. Well, we can call this a tracking fusion. Now, if I was to come over here and maybe I wanted to create a new project. We'll save this. Now I jump into a new project. I can come into this master bin and you'll see that my tracking fusion title is saved. It's saved as a fusion title. So the nice thing is about this is I can always come in and I can change this up. I can change it maybe, um, maybe, maybe I wanna add this, this rectangle to it, right? And that's how I want it now. Well, I can come in here and I can do that. The only problem with this is I can't actually change the text. Um, it doesn't allow me to change the text and the reason is because it's it's reading this fusion comp as like a piece of footage uh, which is kind of the power of having uh, fusion titles right you can actually adjust some of those fusion parameters and same with templates you can adjust your own templates but there is a best of both world scenario and 
if we come over here to the effects library and we pull out our tracking title, well, of course we can just take this template that we've already created. We can put this into our master bin. Now, whenever we go to any kind of other project, all we have to do is we can come over here, click on our title. We can change this, you know, and it's that easy. So yes, um, I'm a big fan of power bins. I don't use them very often, but they are super powerful. And if you're doing any kind of weekly episodic production, I would absolutely use this all the time. Same with if you have any kind of graphic, uh, like a title graphic that you use all the time. In fact, for a while I had that CB Super um, Fire graphic thing that I was using in some of my earlier videos. I used to just leave that in the power bin. I hope that answered your question. It was a very good tip. Um, I always appreciate all the tips that you guys leave in the comments and I go over every comment. So if you guys leave something, I'm definitely going to go in there. I will try to respond back to everybody who has a question and I'm going to keep, I'm going to keep doing things this way. Uh, you know, it seems to be working. You guys seem to like it and, uh, I enjoy doing it. So if you have any questions or tips, please leave them down in the comments. If you guys like this video, make sure to like and subscribe, hit that bell notification, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks.